The other big player back then was the ferns. Their method of reproduction was also restricting. Because ferns evolved in wet, swampy conditions, they needed water to transport their sex cells. And they use a surprising device. What they do is they release a sperm, which swims through the water and the mud to a nearby plant and fertilizes the egg. <laughs> Under a microscope, you can see that by thrashing around, the male sperm cell can propel itself through water. It's able to swim for over two hours. It's amazing to think that a plant produces something like a human sperm. But the downside was that ferns had to live near water. It was hugely limiting. All this meant something was lacking in the world of Pangaea. Diversity. There were few species of ferns and even fewer types of conifers.